phone. How are we doing We're today? Live. We're live. We're live. We are live. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the inaugural episode of the Coconut Wireless, presented by Villa Group. How are we doing today? We are. Uh, we're doing great, Pat. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, there's not a uh, a person that I can think of more qualified to talk about real estate on Maui than you. Let's let's get into it. Oh wow, Sloan! Really, uh, really coming in hot with the accolades right out of the gate. We're, uh, we love to see that. Um, yeah, so this is something we've been uh, kind of brainstorming for some time here. We're you know really the goal is to bring our community um clients friends the broader maui community just just an inside look and what what we see in the maui real estate market um you know i i know we we provide our clients a lot of data and in our monthly reports and stuff like that but our goal here is to kind of give you a more unfiltered look in into what's happening out there um you know our thoughts predictions analysis whatever it may be um, we're gonna have some fun too, you know. Hopefully, uh, you know there might be some drama here and there, and uh, some comedy, and yeah, hopefully we'll we'll have some fun with it. Hope you do too out there. Let's uh, let's get into it. All right, Sloan, I'll let you kick it off, man. No pressure, no pressure. But uh, what uh, what are we seeing out there today? We just wrapped up Q1. Um, what what's kind of happening? What's well, kind of um, as we anticipated, um, inventory in both segments, condo and single family, um, has increased compared to Q1 last year. Um, condos are sitting at um, 30% um, more inventory than last year, and the single family home segments at 15%. So, um, quite a bit more um, available inventory. Yeah, yeah, we've seen that ticking up. Um, but I think you know, an interesting fact that, that people are going to probably note um, or should know at home is our new listings volume, right? So stuff that's coming to the market um, is quite a bit lower, right? We, we, we found that to be an interesting stat. So, um, you know, for homes, basically, you know, we've had 219 homes come to the market so far this year in Q1. Last year, that was 380, right? So we're we're down about 40% on new new incoming inventory condos. We're looking at 321 versus 590 last year. So that's even a broader gap. Um, so there's there's less stuff coming on the market, but our inventory is up. What does that mean? Sales stuff pace. is days sales on market. Sales pace is slow. Yeah. yeah, sales pace is slowing. Um, you know the the just things are, are less inventory is moving right it is basically the moral of that story um and yeah what what is our um what is our uh days on market sloan let's get let's get those stats out there as well um condos is a pretty mind-blowing stat um percentage wise they are, are sitting on the market 92 percent longer than um than last year at, at the same time which is a pretty that's Ooh. i know it's a pretty compelling stat um single family homes a, a little good bit less 34 percent um so you know not not quite as dramatic but still um stuff is is sitting on the market a little longer yeah yeah no we, we've definitely felt that i think uh we've you know definitely a, a, a few of our listings out there we, we felt that a little bit um so yeah that, that's that's palpable as they say, what do we um, what are we seeing out there in the rates? You know, I know a big buzzword is uh, rates, interest rates, rate hikes. You know, we've got the Fed doing all kinds of rate hiking, trying to curb inflation out there. Um, what 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 are we seeing in the mortgage arena, Sloan? Well, last year, um, obviously, you know, rates started going up at a at a pretty dramatic rate. Um, but here recently, towards the end of Q1, and really the last, you know, couple of weeks, um, they've actually dropped a little bit, which, you know, is, is great for buyers. Um, it's it's allowing more um, more buyers to to come into the market and um, allowing them to be a little more competitive. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think even just a, more so than a little drop. What did we just see? We saw, I think, 
the 30 year fixed rate is down half over half a point yeah. in the last four days. So we're talking from you know April 9th last week to today, we're over a half point down. So buyers, if you've been on the fence and we got a few clients doing this right now, um, lock in that rate. We've seen lock it in. huge volatility, right? Rate the rate chart's been a roller coaster, up and down, and and we're at one of those low points right now. Um, with that, you know, the the Fed expected to continue hiking to some degree. We expect uh, those rates to climb back up. So um, if you are kind of trying to time that rate environment, right now is a good opportunity, I would say, I would say. Um, yeah, a, a lot of the the data and, you know, lenders that we talked to, David Brown at Mackay Mortgage in particular. Um, shout out, David. Predi predicted uh, rates in, in, in 2023 to, to fluctuate between 6 and 8%. And so right now we're just under that. So um, yeah, it's now's the time. Lock it in, like you said. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what else? Uh, what else have we seen out there, Sloan? Let's um, let's get some some tangible topics going. What what are what's the general vibe out there? I think um, you know I, we're, we're seeing activity for sure. That's for sure. Um, I think so. Um, just, you know, you know, our listings in general, we've seen quite a bit of um, increased activity in the last couple yeah. of weeks and, um, you know, stuff starting to go into escrow a little more and um, just refreshed a listing in Wailuku Country Estates that, you know, kind of kind of was sitting with with limited action and brought it back to the market. And, and we're seeing quite a bit of, um, of activity and um, hopefully a few offers coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to that property. 404 Micah, Wailuku Country Micah. State. Beautiful property, yeah. listed just under 3 million. You know, I mean, what what can't we say about that one? So that's that's a beautiful spot over there. Yeah, house and cottage. Um, my By far my favorite neighborhood in Central Maui. Um, two acres on ag, um, zoned agriculture. Um, just, yeah, phenomenal neighborhood. Custom, custom, and, uh, custom home over there. Beautiful custom home. Lots of square footage. It's got views. Yep. It's got the Ohana. What more do you want? You know, what more do you got want? it all, baby. Yeah. No, that's what about a you? Phenomenal spot. Um, what are you saying? What are you feeling? Yeah. It, you know, it's been um, the, the interesting thing is you read these national headlines and everyone's kind of doom and gloom, but the Maui market, as we've kind of been telling our clients is, is continuing to plug along and stay stable. Most of our metrics are still good. Um, I know we didn't jump into the medians yet, but medium pricing we're in Q1, we're basically flat, flat, you know, flat as a board almost you know, 1% up or down either way. Um, so pricing is holding. Um, what does that mean for us? For homes, we're sitting at 1.2 for our median and condos are at just under 800. Um, so, you know, no, no dramatic change there. Obviously, we've got those inventory dynamics going on. But, but you know, the interesting thing we're seeing, and I know when we were diving into the, the numbers a little deeper is, the movement in our market is largely, um, and we obviously focus on, you know, higher end resort properties and stuff like that, but um, the movement is at the higher end. And I think the big teller there is about half of the transactions in Q1 in our market as a whole were cash, cash money, cash deals. So. I think the people that push with cash and are, are looking for a place that's, you know, a stable market to put their money for the near term or even the longer term, um, Maui is still a popular place to be. So we love to see that. Um, and it's, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been, been good to see. So dynamics here remaining fairly solid, obviously with those rates, um, a little bit of volatility, some buyers are getting priced out, um, with our prices here not softening at all, um, you know, since we've seen this this market starting to do funny things, um, you know, a lot of demand. So, I mean, let's jump into vacation rentals, right? How's the vacation rental market been? We just put one on Pumping. Pumping. in Kihei, um, 
beautiful Kihei Kainani unit uh, right in there in South Kihei. And well, we're we're in contract in under under two weeks on that one. Yep. Yeah, like eleven days we went in. Yeah. Um yeah, I mean vacation rental market specifically in Kihei, it's just it's still pumping. I mean, we're seeing, yeah. you know, two two bed Pacific shores going for nine twenty. Um the one bed Mali Vista that um Eddie Ooh. Niemeyer had listed just went under contract Shout and I was listening. Eddie, eight, 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 I saw him 50. yesterday. He was he was stoking, dude. He was yeah, excited. We thought yeah. uh, we thought that was optimistic, but that was that's a that's a new record. Boom, new record. Um, so yeah, vacation rentals still remain hot. I think the big driver there, revenues are at yeah. record numbers. You know, revenues are still up. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of ties in the management arena with my wife running um, Island Vacations and. And, you know, they've got over 400 units under management throughout the island. And, you know, their bookings through the end of the year are looking healthy still. So as nice. far as the traveler numbers go, um, I think we can expect that to stay fairly consistent through the end of the year. Um, I think that bodes well for those those condos. Um, but again, obviously, a lot of volatility in that broader market, right? What What's going to well, happen that, in the economy? No one's got the crystal ball. Um, if everyone still loses a, uh, their jobs, they're probably going to cancel that Maui vacation. But hey, employment numbers are still phenomenal right strong, now. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, Unemployment's that, still that's, down. That's, still that's all low. we can speak to is is what's what's happening right now, right? What well, what are we seeing? Well, and, and those future bookings and rental revenue is a good you know indicator on the vacation rental market as a whole, anyway. And yeah. you know, as long as that those two parameters stay healthy, to me it. You know it bodes well for for vacation rentals as a whole yeah absolutely absolutely um why don't we do our uh dive into our property picks huh, Sloan? let's do it let's, uh, well, yeah. let's let's dive into what we like out there i'm gonna pull up um i'm gonna pull up our where are we at here i had to, i thought i had it queued up Didn't well we can do a lua up. We can do a little. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. We got it queued up. We, here's here's kind of some new stuff we're seeing out there. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Tom's let's jump. Um, yeah, let's jump into this one. Let's jump okay. into 171 West EK Kai. What do we think about this one, Sloan? This one looks familiar. It's looks yeah, familiar. it was uh it was on for quite a, quite some time. I think four or five months it was on the market. Um then they took it off. And I think it's been on it's been off for at least a month, obviously. But um yeah, nice and refreshed, much better price, a lot closer to um, you know, yeah. We like the, we like four one over four five, I think, right? Yeah, it's a little like more that. in line. Um, yeah, a little more in line with, with what the market um is doing it in that neighborhood and um clean modern great finishes um, yeah new construction we, we don't see a ton of new construction really anywhere in maui right i mean it takes forever to build anything but um yeah. but yeah yeah newer home i think this is only you know three three-ish years old four years old um gorgeous spot so so we we like that one um let's see what else what else is new out there Got this new pool lawn at three five. Um, we actually are very close to this one. We've we've been talking with these owners for quite a while. Um, know the property well. Um, they've done a beautiful job at, at refreshing things, updating the property. It's a flag lot, extremely private. Um, you know, a nice quiet, tucked away backyard. Um, so yeah, I think you know that that's a that's a new new listing out there that i think offers um offers a lot let's get down to you know an interesting thing i've noticed elua why lady elua we got yeah. really three listings in there well four one went into contract there's a three bedroom that popped on yeah didn't last more than a few seconds and that one's in contract um but we got two two bedrooms and a one bedroom in elua right now which is hot um that one bedroom, um, Villa Group listing there, gorgeous spot right down towards the bottom of the village. What, what do we think about this one, Sloan? Yeah, shout out to Kinto. This one's this one's beautiful. Love the view from the lanai there. Um, 
Yeah, what a location. Yeah, I know, really close to Alua Beach and, you know, walking distance to the Andas and the Grand Wailea and Marriott and all that stuff. It's just, yeah, just a gorgeous unit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And and if I'm going to be frank, the other two two-bedroom listings, we got one at uh, unit 406 at 355 and unit 907 at 37. Both of those have limitations right now on showing and selling. And that's why they're still there because both of those are good buys. So we've, yeah, got, I think the- we've got some clients looking at them. I know there's there's demand out there for them. Um, 406, you can't even get into until later in May. So we've got quite some time there. Um, and 907, this one, I think um, we've got some closing date restrictions. So we can't close for quite a while. Um, Makes sense. But, but yeah, 907, um, smaller view. You know, you got a phenomenal ground floor unit, which who doesn't love walking out? Yeah. Onto their lanai, straight to the grass. Um, the big hallmark of 907 is your location. You're tucked down there in the lower village, and you can just stroll right out to the beach. Um, so really, really a nice beach condo, you know, feel. And you're you're right there by Ulua Beach, which we might be a little biased, but one of the home be. beaches. Hard yeah, to be. one of one of the home beaches. Yeah, hard to be. Um, let's go to the ridge. Know, I, I, I think, yeah, if we're, if we're talking new construction, I think before we go to the ridge, Sloan, wouldn't it be prudent to let's mention talk about ours. our listing? Yeah. Um, we've got a phenomenal new construction opportunity in my land pool, Lonnie. Um, gorgeous custom home, about 3,250 square feet, four beds. This is this is going to be a special one. Um, we've we've had some people circling it um, at three eight five um, for brand new construction. Um, I think we're we're right in line with where the market's at. Um, we're probably going to be mobilizing construction within the next thirty days. So exciting news there! That one we're getting the ball rolling. We're going to start site work, and um, the ball will be rolling. So, you know, we're projecting 16 months, 16, 18 months for completion on that. So that 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 timeline is starting to run and, and people are getting excited about it. So we love, yeah, love well, to see that one. Um, once uh, once construction starts, I think, you know, activity is right. just going to go crazy. It'll. Yeah. 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 No, I'm with you. But yeah, this let, let's look at some eye candy here. We've we've all. You know, everyone kind of in the know and Wailea has been watching this house go up. Um, what do we think about this one, Sloan? I mean, it checks it checks a lot of the um, the high end ultra luxury boxes, right? It's got a you know yeah, renowned it's, architect it's, uh, on the ridge. project. It's the ridge yeah. at Wailea. Um, You know, small enclave up there. I think we've only got what do we got nine, eight or nine lots up there. It's it's tucked yeah, away, lots. highest elevation. Um, in Wailea and yeah look at look at this thing I mean it's clean lines yeah Yeah. super modern yeah yeah this is a um it's a guy dryer design guy dryer um world-renowned architect um you know mid-century modern to the max and absolutely insane views got to be the the best views in Wailea I think so. I mean, just let's see if we can get back to another view shot here. Here we go. Here's a view shot. Boom. Yeah. Molokini front and center. Um, absolutely exceptional place. Um, happy to show that to uh, to any of our clients out there. It just just came on there. They're still mid construction, but they're 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 working through it. They're they're getting towards the tail end, so it's it's starting to to come together up there. What else we got out there that we like? Let's see. Uh, beach yeah, villas. We got to yeah. we, we we like our beach villas. Another villa group listing here in the beach villas. Third floor, three bedroom penthouse unit. Yep. Um, there's a decent amount of inventory in there right now, Sloan. 
What do, what do we got yeah. on in the, in the beach villas? I think there's what six there's, units on the market. Yeah, several villas, um, several units in the penthouse. Um, I think what is it? It's B one hundred and one or B one hundred and two is on. G. We got B B one hundred and one. Yep. There's a villa in G on as well that just came on. Megan Claire's. Yep. Um, Kento Kento's got this Second one listed floor. in the penthouse. I like yep. I, I like this penthouse unit that you have pulled up right here. Yeah, um, this is to me of what's listed right now. Um, and most of the Wiley Beach Villa units have been sitting on the market a little bit, and I think we all know why. We've um, you know pricing's been a little lofty in there, a little lofty, but. Um, but yeah, can't blame people. You know, it's it's a tight market, and um, with the revenues the way they are, you know, the price is the price. And That's right. especially when you're dealing in this uh, price segment, you know, we we can't blame blame those list prices. But I think for value and, and return on investment, um, this unit this unit is is you know the one. This is the one right now. Corner unit, phenomenal views really nicely appointed you got that southern exposure um yeah ab absolutely phenomenal opportunity i mean that complex as a whole it's just there's nothing else like it on the island um yeah you know right on the yeah. beach in malaya just oh yeah i mean you know 100 units oceanfront i mean th this this is the second newest built complex in Wailea, Ho'ole being the, uh, the newest short-term rental complex. And the beach villas will, you know, remain in perpetuity as the premier vacation rental complex in Wailea. So um, on the ocean, no, no doubt that future value will, um, future values will do very well in there. Okay. I think for now, you know, those those are those are some good top picks. You know, definitely that's that's why Leia's why Leia's hot picks right now. Um I think uh what else we got, Sloan? We got anything else? Or I think that's 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 not bad for uh for day one here. Ep episode think? one, inaugural episode. Yeah. Let's show them uh fifteen fifteen, Cop Kaloa. Fifteen, fifteen. Yeah, let's um, let's jump over to Haiku. Let's jump over to Haiku. Why not? Why not? Boom. Investor for you special. Investors, investor special for you investors out there. We've got this listing on Kapakalua Road in Haiku. Um, unbelievable cash flows. This is two and a half acres with. A 4,500 square foot home and another 2,100 square foot home. Current rental income is 18,000 a month. We've got five livable units in the upper and larger home and a separate three bed, two and a half bath unit down below. Well, not unit, that's a full separate it's a house. house. Yeah, it's a house. So, yeah. Um, what an opportunity here. A lot of bang for your dollar um, value is what I see here. I mean, you know, for cash flow people, no brainer. A lot of the people we've had looking at it, interestingly enough, are looking to maybe live in one portion and then rent the other. And I mean, how, can it get better than that? You're living and making money. Your your mortgage is covered and plus some while living in a gorgeous 2,100 square foot home completely separate from any of your rentals. So, I mean, really, really a, a interesting opportunity. I think it's unique. There's nothing else on the market like it. Look at that cute cottage. It's the one, one up front, nice one bed, one bath there. Um, let's get to the end. Look at, so now we're down, this is yeah. that three bed, two and a half bath home. Really beautifully designed. You've got kind of a dual master. You got a master up and a master down. This deck right here overlooks the gulch with a river flowing by. So we got look at that. We got river views. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It it really really look at you got your own swimming hole. What what more do you need? That's that's Maui living for you. 
Yeah, that's, um, that's my favorite part, taking people down there. That's yeah, it's been a lot of fun yeah. showing that property. Yeah, we just just had a showing yesterday. We we took them down there. We got a nice little passing rain shower. Um, that's why we we love what we do, Sloan. All right. Well, recap. Um, I think you know, end of Q1, things are looking solid still. You know, I think, I think that's so. the moral of the story. We got buyers out there. Um, you know, we, we've had a lot of sellers we've been chatting with that are kind of on the fence. Market is still tight, but we are seeing. I mean, what of those Wiley listings we just pulled up? I think three or four of them came on in the last week. So we are seeing some stuff start to come to the market. So sellers beware if you've been you know if you've been waiting i think um we're in a nice window here there's still demand but uh we we think that inventory is going to keep ticking up a little bit but uh think, yeah we'll, uh, check, we'll check back in right well uh yeah so let's let's closing statements what do we got yeah i mean just sellers i mean buyer the buyer pool is increasing um we're seeing you know an increase of buyers into the market and and they're looking looking for something to buy with rates um drop in here recently like we said a little over oh, yeah. half a point um, nice in the last four or five window. days it's yep. uh it'd be a good time to sell there's still there's still limited inventory and and buyers coming in so um happy to help boom boom there you have it well uh let's wrap it up here coconut wireless episode one the inaugural as we say the inaugural, the inaugural episode it's been a pleasure, Sloan. We'll, uh, we're going to try and circle back next week, give you some more content. And until then, aloha. Thanks, Pat.